welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and you've subscribed much appreciated and if you're new please feel free to like and subscribe too be much appreciated and leave a comment and i'll always reply back to you um, i'm coming for a little test flight today there's been a software update a firmware update for the potentic atom 2 so looking on the specification as always slight tweak with the uh, software functions to keep the um the drone more give it more stability uh, better streaming uh, uh, capabilities and keep it all smooth. Sorry, there's two Spitfires are just flowing over. Don't know if you've better see them. Probably not. Um, but anyway, I digressed. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out. Obviously, we're not going that high, but anyway. Um, so new Potentic Atom uh, firmware update with the uh, drone itself. It's uh, version 020 and for the controller it's version 17 if you're interested and this is as of september 2025 number one is the p-log so it gives you a kind of neutral uh video footage and image imagery as well which means you can go back to your computer and you can overlay and with the gradients and color palettes and stuff like that and then you can add extra quality and color tones and all those sort of fun things we do on our editing uh, software whether that's on your computer or you do it on the on the phone i know some people do so whichever whatever tool you use that's a functionality it gives you and also if you're a beginner it sets it to 120 max after you've completed your beginner course i think in america you may have had a slightly higher altitude ours has been 120 meters but 400 feet yeah so i think you've had the luxury of having a bit higher than that for some of your regulations aren't quite the same as they are in the UK and I think we're aligned the UK's aligned with the EU in Europe so that's uh that's that said so that's number one on the log and uh, number two on the log this is the um one's p log number two is the um after you beginner and number three I think that's you can change your control joysticks and you can adapt them and you can um change the configurations to do different things and I believe uh you can now change the joysticks to a new uh, one-handed takeoff you don't have to have it set at it what it comes with which is um, C1 and push forward on the uh, left uh, paddle to kind of uh, take off one-handed which is quite nifty um, but anyway further to do I'm gonna get door up and uh, let it fly around <laughs> just going to go into my settings here uh, when you go into fly now you can click the ellipsis at the top of the three uh, dots and you can check your what safety measures you have in place um, video mode is what I normally standard I start on if signal lost return 60 meters do a quick check um, 60 meters is going to be good from where I'm standing um, you can change your dynamic point in here as well which I've done as well I've given an example of and I'll put a link into where I I've done that um, I haven't done that today and I don't normally turn it on to be fair but I must start doing that I think it'd be more handy to actually have that on now now I've got used to the new drone 
and everything else is pretty standard on here. Take off a one hand selected. So there we see on the screen. Right, um, how you get into your P log setting, you go into the video uh, viewing settings where you can change your uh, ISO, um, you can change the um, camera, um, you can change your video quality, HDR standard, etc. And you'll find P log in there. It doesn't stay on the screen for long, and you see the color gradient slightly change, a bit more grayish look. So it allows you that kind of full control when you're editing it add those kind of fu color functions manually to your um, video and photos and i've also found take the photos while you're recording as well because the setting isn't available when you're um, you go to camera mode and take photos for that setting which is when you click here and you go to photos so you'll see it just enhances it back to the hdr or whatever setting you're in so go back to your video mode and i can i can already tell that that setting is um p log because of the uh, gradient, sort of the sort of slightly grayer look, the quality allows you to full edit and HDR. And hopefully you found this really useful today. It did take me a little bit of time to find out where it was actually, to be fair. I was going through the normal mode, going through settings, camera, adjusting it on where it says standard, uh, etc. But um, yeah, it wasn't there. That's where it was, it's in the settings here. One last little flight around this evening, HDR mode, while I put on the screen uh, some comparative analysis of the HDR versus P-Log, so you can kind of get to see uh, before and after, and I actually will edit as well, I'll give it some kind of colour function, uh, just to give it something to kind of compare. If you are new here, please feel free to like and subscribe, and for those coming back, also feel free to like this video, it really helps my channel, and please leave a comment. I always reply back to you, and I do enjoy conversing with everybody, so please feel free. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Lorenzo.